Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Oracle Integration Cloud with Gmail or the Google Mail. I have listed down the steps which we need to follow. First and the foremost thing, we have to create a connection with the help of Google Mail adapter in our Oracle Integration Cloud. Second, we need to build the integration. I have created two integrations. One is to send a message or the email. Another one is to get the messages, one to n number of messages. And third step is touch these integrations. Now I will take up the first activity in the list that is to create the connection. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on Gmail adapter. I will provide the link for this documentation in my blog. Please check out the blog for more details. So there is this section that is create a Gmail adapter connection under prerequisites oracle has documented all the details what we need to follow in order to create a gmail adapter that is we have to log into our console.developer.google account that is this one i have already created a project if you have not created a project then you can create a new project like this Once you create a project, you have to select that project like I have done, like Gmail API. Next, we have to go to API services and then we have to select the library. In the library, you can search for Gmail API. Click on the Gmail API and enable. Once your Gmail API gets enabled, you will get an option to manage. Click on the manage. Then if you click on the credentials, there is an option to create odd 2.0 client. So before that, you have to configure the consent screen by clicking on this. If you are a business, then you can go for internal. I am using a Google account or the Gmail account. That is a free version. I am going for external. Click on create. Then we have to fill all the details. Once you are done with completing all the details, then we have to go back to our credentials. And we have to click on this plus create credential and we have to select this auth client id it is not allowing me to go ahead with this auth client id because i have not done with the configure consent screen but all the steps are documented by oracle over here so if you are not sure what is the oic ssl port it is the https so you can give 443 and the host you can get from your oic instance if you are getting any certificate issues then you can export the certificate and upload to OIC certificates under settings. All those things I have co covered already in my previous videos. Please check out those videos for more details. Now, once we have done completed the prerequisites for creating a connection, we'll be getting the client ID and secret that we can copy. Like for example, if I show you the already created or 2.0 client for my project in Google Cloud Platform. So if I click on this OIC integration, I will get the client ID and also the secret from here. So we can copy that and we can create a connection. Now we'll go to OIC instance and create our connection. I have already created this Gmail adapter connection. So if you don't know how to create, you have to click on this create button over here. Select that is the Google mail. Click on this. The client ID and secret what we copied from our uh, Google cloud platform that we have to provide it over here and, and we have to select the scopes. When you create the or 2.0 credentials in GCP, we have to mention the scopes in which our application will be used that you can find on the auth consent screen. So I have selected almost all the scopes, whichever is mentioned by Oracle in this documentation. I have selected the more details. You can find it over here. And also what each scope does is documented by Gmail for developers blog by Oracle. Go through this for more details. I will provide the links in my blog. So I'm providing two scopes over here. That is mail.google.com and gmail.modify so that this will cover almost most of the operations available in the adapter you must follow the space over here when we populating multiple scopes once you have filled all the details you have to click on the provide consent it will route you to google account there you have to provide your consent once you have provided the consent you will get a call back and you can test and save the connection so i already created those two integrations that is one integration is used to send a message or the mail another one is to get a message or n number of messages or the emails with this first i will test the integration then i will walk you through the integration code first i am testing this send email i am here in the 
testing page for test mail send integration i want to send this email to my outlook account i'm providing that to sent mail from gmail let me put the number message also i'm copying same thing i'm clicking on test button we'll go to our outlook account and verify yeah i've got the email let me open yeah, as you can see i'm getting the subject that sent mail from gmail and message and it also shows that i got the mail from my gmail account gmail.com now this is fine now test the get email i am here in the testing page for test mail get integration there is this queue parameter metadata format and max messages so max messages is nothing but how many maximum message i want to read in from my mailbox that i have to mention i am provide i am giving here two under the query uh, i will populate i want to read all the messages which i have got from my outlook account metadata i am giving subject i as i am interested in only subject metadata out of many and the format i am giving metadata and if you get the questions how i know all those things is from the documentation by google if you go over to this gmail api documentation page by google and if you click on this list api there there is an option to mention the max results what i am populating over here max results that is this max messages so the query as google has mentioned you can mention few queries over here followed by space if we are having multiple query parameters and once we list all the messages what i am doing is i am getting the messages one by one for that i am using get operation and in get operation there are two parameters which we need to send one is the format and metadata under metadata i will send the subject and in format i am giving metadata in case of full it will retrieve all the messages which will increase the overhead in oic integration so we are not interested in all the data metadata present for that particular mail we just need the body and the subject that's it for more details you can check out those links so once done i will click on this test button over here i could see there are two mails uh, i'm having in my mail account from my outlook account let's verify first as you could see i'm having two mails let us send one more email from my outlook to gmail email 3 subject body click on send we'll verify if i got the mail yeah i got three mails now now again we'll test this again i have to get only two messages because i have not set this max messages count it is set to two only let me change this to five and test now i should see the message as you could see i'm getting the new message which i sent that is test to subject and test to body okay this, that is this one i'm having three emails in my gmail account all three are getting populated over here again you can customize all those things based on your uh, requirement now i will work you to the integration first i will walk you through how i build this sent integration as you already seen the request and response format for this integration i will open this wizard for send message in my gmail adapter so here i have selected the operation as send message that's it it's not asking anything else and in the mapping I'm just mapping directly from what I get from the request that is 222 message and subject. Even if you are having an attachment, you can send the attachment in base64 format as this API accepts base64 format as of now at the time of recording this video. Click on close, that's it. In case of success, I'm sending back the thread ID and ID of the message. In case of get message, as you already seen the request and response format for this integration, I'm not uh, opening this wizard. So I'm directly going for this. First, this integration will list the messages based on the query what we have supplied. In my case, I had supplied, I want to get all the messages from my Outlook email ID. For that, I'm selecting list messages operation in this. That is this one. Then in the query parameters, I have selected queue, max result and include 
spam trash this is a boolean i'm setting it to false so in the mapping for list messages i'm passing the max results what i'm setting in my uh, request payload uh, include spam trash i'm setting it to false that is i don't want to include the messages from my spam folder or the trash and in the query i'm passing the query parameter what i get from the request that is from pina maps at outlook.com that's it if there are uh, messages available in my account for that particular query then i will loop over each and every message and i will try to get the message in get message wizard i have selected get message operation and in the query parameter i am selecting format and metadata headers what i had shown you earlier and in the mapping for get messages the id what we get from the list messages operation in earlier step that we are iterating and passing it over here in the get message operation so that we get the message and the format that i am sending it over here in metadata in the request as you had seen i had sent subject as i want only subject in the metadata nothing else and in the format i am sending metadata if you give full or raw you will get appropriately the results for more details you can go over to this api documentation and get the details so that's it for this step so once we retrieve everything what i am doing is i am using the global variable over here okay i have created a global variable I'm appending the subject and response what we get from each message and adding it to this variable so that I can map in the response finally. And one thing to note over here is at the time of uh, recording this video, uh, the header field what we use from this response from the get message operation with from the Gmail adapter. So it doesn't have this name and value what we get from the response for that I had used this local namespace in order to pull the values. That's it. I'm closing. That's it with these two integrations. In this video, we had seen how to create a connection. What are the prerequisites and how to complete those prerequisites in the Google Cloud platform. How we can build the integration that is to send an email and get an email. Also, we had seen how to test the integrations. Please do like this video and subscribe to our channel and thank you for joining us in this video.